the Warriors back at home at Rick McCarthy Field. Their only victory of the season coming at McCarthy Field back in that snowy game on March 9th against St. Joe's. Warriors would trail early on, but toward the end of the second, they would go on a little bit of a run as Cedric Rene. He would connect on a goal, part of a little bit of a breakout day for Rene. He'd have three goals. And then a little later on, it's Zach Gaffalon getting right to the crease and connecting on another goal that would tie things up at five. Then just about half a minute left here in this first half. It's Quinn O'Connor. That goal, part of a five-goal day for O'Connor to lead the way for Eastern Connecticut as he would give them a one-goal lead going into the second half. Now, these two teams will go back and forth throughout most of the second half. But then it's O'Connor with things tied up at 10, five minutes to play. O'Connor connects on another goal that would give the Warriors a one-goal lead with only five minutes left. But then two and a half minutes later, two and a half minutes to play as well. Jared Greer, goal number 16 on the season. That would be crucial and send this one to overtime. In the overtime, the Warriors would have several chances, including that Renee shot. Bryson Kennedy gets it back over to Andrew Pendergast. His shot is wide as that would force a second overtime here. It wouldn't take long in that second overtime, just under two minutes in. Bryson Kennedy gets right in front of the goal there and is able to connect as Kennedy wins it for Eastern Connecticut. Another game winner for the Warriors on home turf and we'll take another look at that one. Shifty footwork there from Kennedy. Gets right in front. Nothing Roger Williams can do as the Warriors can celebrate another close one in double overtime as they take this one 12-11.